do it myself. Hello. Where's the phone? I don't know. Uh, sort of crying out, will you? Hello? It's me, your mum. I'm ringing you all to tell you I'm dying. And I want you to all come and see me today before it's too late. Oh, Mummy, we'll be there in a jiffy. Norris! Yes, sir. Jeez, oh, Rolls, Norris. You must stop doing that. Yes, sir. Right, assemble the family. Yes, sir. Father, is everything OK? Oh, husband, what's the matter? You look shaken. I've just received some devastating news. Mummy's dying and she's told all the family. Oh, oh, poor you, dear. You don't need this stress at your time of life. Exactly, darling. What are we to do? Norris, pack the bags. Yes, sir. We must get to Mummy's before my siblings get their hands on the box in the loft. What's the box in the loft? It's my inher I mean our inheritance, and if Mummy pops her clocks, it's first one there gets it. <gasps> Should we take the chopper? <laughs> no, darling, it's Pilot Ray's day off. Let's take the Merc. Norris! All ready, sir. Oh, hurry up, Martin! on purpose. No, dear. Oh, why did you just drive, you useless piece of cake? Is that your breakfast? Oh, but yeah. We haven't just had the other Take the motorway in two miles. I can't believe you have the cases already, Pat. Look, I knew this day would come and we'd have to get there pretty quick. <sighs> that precious box is my, I mean, our ticket to greater things, and Leave the motorway in two miles. Just tell me to get off the motorway. Just follow what she says. This is so we get the quickest way down there. 90 minutes, look. Where did you get it from? Blog down the market. It was well cheap. Help you, sir. Can you open the gate, good chap? We're in rather a hurry. Hurry to go where, sir? This is private property. Do you know who I am? This is Fudge's property, my old pal from Eton, and I've always cut through here. Are you piggy balls? <laughs> That's... Well, you're on the list of no entries through here. His lordship sick of you lot abusing his property. Piggy? Daddy, why did that man call you Piggy Balls? Just over an hour now, dear. Traffic permitting. Oh, why do you have to put such a negative spin on everything? Can't you be more positive? What it means is we've been on the road for over an hour with no problems. Hmm, actually, that reminds me. Must be time for another one of Melanie's travel tablets. Martin, where are the tablets? I, um... Martin, where are the tablets? Uh... Oh, Martin! <laughs> Isn't the motorway? Where the hell are we? You're driving, babe, not me. Oh, sod this, we'll have to ask someone. But look at these pair, I probably can't remember their own name. Hi, uh, excuse me, um, we're really lost. Can you tell us exactly where we are, please? Piss off. How <gasps> rude. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't chop off, boy. You've got a deathbed to get to. It's not looking good, mate. What, this is what I pay you for, so you come and tell me it's not looking good? It's knackered. Your car's knackered. It's going nowhere. But we've got to get to Mummy's ASAP. Fix it, man. Fix it now. How much is it going to cost to... Norris! Yes, sir. Give this man some money. There's nothing I can do for your car. But... We have another option. No worries. I'll get you there in half an hour. Daddy, this man smells. Oh, Carrot Martin. She doesn't even eat carrots. Oh. Kev, uh, where's your sister? Um, I don't know. Last time I saw her, I think she was going into the toilet. Oh. Oh. Belinda, can you just check she's OK? Fine! I might as well go and do everything, mightn't I? Melanie, she's locked herself in the toilet. Melanie? Love, are you okay in there? Of course she's not okay in there, she's locked in the toilet! Belinda, love, I could hear her a lot better if you could just stop shouting. Open the door and get her out! Kick it down! I'm not happy. That map's cost me my fag money. Yeah, well, if you'd have brought a proper sat nav in the first place, we wouldn't be in this position. Right, I think I know where we're going. Get in, belt up. Gary? What? Where the hell is moon dust? Come on, darling, we can still be first. <laughs> Mummy? Oh, not Mummy! David! Alas! Wonderful to meet you, my boy! But you told us you were dying! Yes, because I knew if I told you that, you'd all come to see me. And I wanted you to be here for my wedding to Kenneth. Today! Today? But... How did you know we'd come? Oh, I knew you would because of that bloody box in the loft. I knew you'd all want to be first at it. As soon as you knew I was going to pop my clogs. <laughs> it's very precious to me, you know. Come on, come on, give me a kiss. You're giving me away. <laughs> Gone down the shops. Crazy old girl. She filled us all that. She certainly did. Clever lady. Still, won't be long till we have to do it again. True. Still kind of wondering what's in that box though. 